So for the past few months now, I've been really experimenting with different game engines. Of course, still working on Coco Loco. Updates coming soon for that. Got some exciting news in regards to that project. But in my downtime and kind of just to experiment and prepare myself, I have been experimenting a bit more with especially Godot and Unreal. As I've gone through all these engines and I've tried the different features, obviously the stuff that I really, really do enjoy. Like I will admit, Godot is fast. And once you get your head around the whole node system, which took me a while to finally click on understanding, uh, it can be quite powerful. There are some things that are lacking and I think, you know, with the extensions people can add onto the engine, you know, uh, different plugins and just new assets, you know, like you can with every other engine, uh, it will be quite powerful. For now we're kind of just waiting for a lot of Godot's resources to catch up with everyone else. Unreal, especially with Lumen, Unreal Engine 5, Nanai, and all that still like crazy stuff. I love the way that Unreal just has this very game design focused aesthetic to it when it comes to making character controllers, uh, the way that level design works. But with all these engines, there's been one thing that they can't replace with Unity. And it's a workflow thing I think is actually crucially important, especially for me, someone who's grown up using Unity, understands how Unity works. And that is the game and scene view and the fact that they aren't two separate things. Now people you know who don't use other engines might understand this, but when you, in other engines, you have your scene view where you edit your level and you make changes and, and that's where you work. And then your game view is what the player would see at the end of the product. And all the time, these are two separate things. Like with the source engine, it will build the game basically before you can play it. But in Unity, it, there's this amazing, amazing thing that they've done that I haven't seen anyone else do to the same level. And that is the fact that when you play the game, it is playing that scene view that you see which means fundamentally, if you are in the game view, you can then switch over to the scene view and make changes and see how things are really working. Like I understand in other engines, you can look around the scene view, but you can't do it at runtime and you can't manipulate things like how you can in Unity at runtime. Um, you know, it, it, for me in Unreal Engine, I was struggling to even figure out how to place the camera properly because it, it doesn't by default show you both the game view and scene view in perspective of the first person camera. In Unity it does, it's very easy just to place a camera and to place exactly where you want it to be in regards to the game view. And having used this in Unity for so long, it's become part of my debugging and rapid prototyping and, and just everything else in terms of game development that I use in Unity. Like forget everything that the company's done in regards to their practices of merging different businesses, uh, the way that they've turned away from games and you know now the new pricing scheme the one thing that is going to be the hardest thing i think to unlearn from unity is the way that the game view and the scene view interact with each other and how seamless they are and how i can be in the game view playing the game want to see how something might change like you you can literally grab physics objects in the scene view and see them move in the game view and you can't do that as far as i understand in any other game engine I've seen. Now, please, if I'm wrong, let me know. I'd love to know this, but this is something that's really got me reconsidering whether or not I should even switch to another engine and whether I should just stick with an older Unity version with the assets I already have. You know, I, I've bought a ton of assets, I have a bunch of things, I can make a bunch of games in Unity. I already understand all this stuff. It's really making me reconsider whether I should even switch to anything just because this is something fundamental that I use to test my games to make my games. I found myself so frustrated with these other engines because this is something that Unity has been able to do since basically the very beginning, from my beginning of working in this engine, I've been able to do this. And so but since this is the first engine I've learned, switching to these other engines, I, you know, I, I was very laid back in terms of, okay, these new tutorials teaching, you know, how do you learn this engine coming from Unity? And so I, I would guide myself through these things and be quite relaxed. But when I kind of switched on my Unity brain and thought of things that I would usually do to make iteration faster for my games, I realized there was a fundamental flaw, for me at least, in these engines that they don't have. They do not have this feature. But the fact that no one else has even done it in the amount of years we've had, like Unreal will compete in terms of pricing, in terms of, you know, realistic assets, go to real, real, you know, fight their way through to, uh, you know, a really stable, fast engine. But none of them have done this. 
And I'm kind of shocked at it. If one of them does it, which I think they probably could, maybe, I don't know how much in the architecture and the back end you have to really change things around for this to kind of work. But this is one thing that I'm just like, you know what? I might stick around with Unity. Let me know in the comments whether I'm wrong, whether there's an engine that does have this feature and I'm just being oblivious to it and I'm being biased again towards Unity. Or let me know if there are any other features either from other engines that you use that you, you know, wish were in Unity or stuff in Unity that you just like pull your hair out when you try to use something else because you're just, you're just not used to it. Anyways, that's all for this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.